Hey guys, Gary Dirksen here. I'm here to review the trial of the Chicago 7. The Trial of the Chicago 7 is a Netflix original film written and directed by Aaron Sorkin. This is a courtroom drama starting with eight men on trial for organizing a riot during a protest against the Vietnam War in 1968. Going into this film, I had no knowledge of this event, but I imagine it is a small bump in American history that inspires a good few. Starting off with Sorkin, I thought I'd only seen his work from Social Network, but when doing a bit of research, it turns out he wrote, he wrote the classic A Few Good Men and was the creator behind The West Wing and The Newsroom, which I still have to watch. And of course, he's one of those filmmakers who are advertised on YouTube for having a master class in screenwriting. From the trial of Chicago 7, you can always tell he's doing his homework because there's so much information and dialogue in this film that kept my attention. From the likes of the social network and this film, he's got a niche for bringing together an ensemble of characters with an equal fair share of small moments. Maybe he'll be great at doing a political superhero film. Who knows? Character named Bobby Seale, played by Yahya Abdul-Mateen II, I'm sure I butchered that, gives a pretty strong performance despite the limited screen time he has. He plays one of the leaders of the Black Panther organization who was on trial for, the short, for a short period of time with the protesters. He goes through a pretty humiliating experience as his character is treated with the utmost disrespect in the film. But all the actors give fine performances especially Sasha Baron Cohen and uh, Eddie Redmayne. But for them and some of the other actors, the film needed more time to capture the essence of them. Several times they dive into these characters with quick flashbacks before and the day of the riot, but not enough time to invest in these characters. Some scenes during the riot were brutal though. There were some blood soaked heads and cracked skulls, but the character development doesn't express more beyond that of a big budget made for TV movie. Other than that, the majority of the film is in the courtroom and that's where the humor lies. Most of the humor comes from the ridiculous judge played by Frank Langella. He's a biased and prejudiced man and he makes that clear in one of the first court hearings. He starts to pick on people just because of how they look. There's also a funny moment when the judge has to point out he isn't related to the defendant just because they have the same last name. The film is about the eight protesters and the trial, and they focus on that. But I gained more curiosity about the judge himself. Who the hell is he? And what's his story? Why is he so unreasonable in giving Bobby Seale a proper trial? We can only assume why, and maybe that's what the filmmakers intend. But I wanted to know more on a personal level who this judge really was. Again, as good as the movie is, I found a lot of characters underused. The prosecutor played by Joseph Gordon-Levitt, whose job it is to disagree with the protesters in the courtroom, he shows a bit of empathy towards the, some of the seven, especially Bobby Seale. I'm a fan of Gordon-Levitt's. I've enjoyed his films right from Angels in the Outfield to Inception. But he was another character not utilized enough. The film does play on a more factual sense and anywhere there was room for characters to be rightfully emotional, they backed away from it. There's a scene in which they talk about sentencing and how long they go to jail for, but they're stale about it as if it's just another day at the office. There's also a comment one of the lawyers make about getting a doctor to examine the judge from the gallery, but nothing ever comes from that. The film is enough to keep you somewhat interested in what happened with the, with the true story, but lacks what could have been some real emotional punches. I think instead of a movie, it should have been a limited series with three or more episodes. I recommend this film, but don't expect a lot. It's a play it safe kind of movie. Thanks for watching. You agree or disagree? Put a comment down below me.